Welcome to the Daily Drink Review. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Today we're going to be reviewing this uh, Red Powerade. It's, uh, it's, it, it's an acquired taste, but you know, uh, I, like, I like it, you know, red. And uh, sometimes I just like to uh, put, you know, two straws in there to sip out of it for like two seconds and then it gets stuck down there. And that, that really adds like some, uh, it, it just takes a little edge off. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna like. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, uh, it's more of a refined taste, you know? It, it, um, it takes a little bit to, yeah, it, it takes training to get take, used to yeah, that. Yeah, it takes a little bit. Like, There's several notes that like, you don't notice until very later in the, in the experience. Yeah, you gotta, like, you gotta, it takes training to do something like that. <laughs> so, um, that's the Powerade. Uh, um, thank you scale, for your time. On a scale of um, Shakespeare's Hamlet to um, Shakespeare's Othello, what, what would you rate this experience? Uh, Shakespeare's uh, probably Othello. Which is mm, nice, not bad at all. Yeah. Could we get a little um, a swishing of that? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Just like. Just appreciate that aesthetic. Mm -hmm. That's very yeah. elegant. Mm -hmm. Very elegant. Yeah. Very well. some, some, yeah. Could you do me a favor? Could you talk some more about it, please? I I, really, I need to hear your story. So when so, did you? I really would, I want you to go really in depth on this. I need to hear the full experience, well, like see, about the first time you you you, you tried. You see, I was in I was in Paris and I got hit by a car, and you know what? I I, I like my arm was like broken, bro. It was like broken, and like I was bleeding out. And I'm like, hey, you know what that blood looks like? It looks like that drink I saw in a commercial the other day. So, um, you know, I just I just went and bought the drink with my arm still broken. I was like limp into the store and they were like, Oh my god, are you okay? And I was just like just 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 get me just give me a power raid, man. I'll be fine. So And did the taste did the taste click the first time you had it or the first time I had it, it was like you know, I kinda hated it but I kinda loved it, you know? Much it, like um forced um fornicating. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very much. Yeah, but then it kind of clicked, you know. It was, it was pretty. I now, like it. I now, but, um, pardon me for imposing, but I must, I, I must really ask. The, these, the straw. Yes. Yeah. I see some grand mystery. I feel like it's part of a grand scheme, and I really, I want to delve into its story. I, 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 I just, I. I can't help but feel that there's there's something to it that it knows. I feel like there's some eternal law of the universe that it knows that I'm not fully aware of, and maybe my my, my brain is not capable you to know, comprehend. But I just I, I see it, and I see wisdom of the man I used to call you know, father. Well, you know, each straw has its own story. You know, like that straw could be dumb as hell, and that straw could know the secrets. To the ever expanding universe and the uh, and the higher level plane of all of existence and also the void but we wouldn't know that and there is no way to know that until the day of course that we become one with the straw on yes. the day that we pass on to the astral plane and we ascend into the straw we like literally ascend into the straw as it like we become sucks. The we become the straw like once you become the straw you know you're the straw <laughs>